In this video, we're going to review the micro NASDAQ action for Wednesday, August the 16th, 2023. Um, we're going to have a look at the regular trading hour session. So we had an economic event today. We had the FOMC minutes come out during the PM session. So most of our action was in the PM session in accordance with that. Um, looking looking at the uh, the start of the day let's take a look today is Wednesday we had a pretty quiet morning session okay so this this was our morning session Uh, very choppy, very back and forth. We were just working inside this 10 minute fair value gap that we had from Tuesday. Okay. So you can see that the price was just working in this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency that we had from Tuesday. We poked above it and then we ended up trading much lower um, coming into the lunch session. So. Not a whole lot to say about the morning session, except that we, we opened down, we traded up, we re-delivered into this 10 minute sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, so this 10 minute fair value gap. We traded um, a little bit above it, traded up into some of this order flow to the left on Tuesday. Um, I imagine that's gonna be basically um, an order block. Uh, there was also a small 10 minute um, another 10 minute fair value gap here. So we re-delivered and then rebalanced this 10 minute sell set imbalance buy set inefficiency here during the morning session and we also traded up uh, into a higher uh, 10 minute fair value gap. So let's take a look at the lunch session. So the lunch session um, we, we had a, a little bit of a breakaway gap here during the lunch session. We traded into sell side liquidity. And um, we ended up taking out this cluster of low. So this sell side liquidity that we had at uh, 15,037, 20, 20 evens. So right here. Uh, the lunch session ended up taking that out and then let's see if we had yeah there was more sell side liquidity there that we took out during the lunch session right before the lunch session we formed a 10 minute fair value gap And you can see that the price traded back into this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency, uh, tagged it once, took out sell side liquidity, came back up, retested it, meaning it reclaimed it, and then again shot to sell side liquidity. And we traded into a daily fair value gap that we were reclaiming a fair value gap that we formed uh, back in June. So you can see that over here on the left side of your chart, we're trading back into that. And that is what the PM session did. So the PM session ended up shooting into this 10 minute fair value gap that we formed during the AM session. And, um, and then we shot lower. So that was basically it for, for the day. The AM session re-delivered and then rebalanced a, a sell set imbalance by set inefficiency, traded up into a small 10 minute sell set imbalance by set inefficiency as well. And then shot down and took out sell side liquidity the lunch session traded back into a fair value gap that the AM session formed. PM session ran some short term buy side, ran back in and reclaimed that 10 minute fair value gap and then we traded lower for the remainder of the day and we traded into a daily fair value gap that we have um, back from June. So that was your recap for Wednesday, August the 16th, 2023 on the micro NASDAQ. I also want to give you a heads up as to what I'm looking at for 
the uh, com coming into coming into Thursday's trading. So we have a four four hour fair value gap. You can see uh, sitting quite a bit higher. I don't know if the price is going to come all the way back and trade in trade up into trade up into that. It would seem unlikely to me. What would seem more likely to me is that we draw below the 50% point of this daily fair value gap. So we draw below 14,915 spot 50. We could even draw down all the way and re-deliver uh, in the overnight session. So drop down to 14,868, which as you can see is Well, I can't find the highlighting tool. So that high right there comes in at 14,868 evens and price has already uh, re-delivered and then rebalanced this fair value gap and now we're reclaiming it. So if we're gonna fully reclaim it and draw back into this old fair value gap, um, you know, we could end up shooting down below 14,868 and then we could draw lower and take out this sell side liquidity that we have for Monday the 26th of June. So that would seem like a pretty likely scenario to me is that Thursday is going to be another black candle and we draw into the sell side liquidity, uh, draw back into this uh, old fair value gap that we have here. And then we have another old fair value gap back here, uh, quite a bit lower down, down at 14,640s. And it's possible that price uh, on Thursday, Friday might want to come all the way down. Um, at this point, looking at our weekly chart, I think that we're looking at a pretty substantial black candle now, and we could end up drawing to the midway point of this wick, which would be 14,583. That seems like that's a, a likely possibility at this point that we come into this inefficient price delivery here. Uh, and then we have a weekly fair value gap lower as well. So. Uh, it, I, I do think that the NASDAQ is looking uh, at this point to break out lower, uh, come take out sell side targets. How quickly it wants to do that, I don't know exactly, but I've given you some ideas. So anyways, this has been a review of Wednesday, August the 16th price action and a little bit into what I'm looking at for Thursday and Friday. Bye-bye.